I'm Becky Wiles, Chief of Interpretation at White Sands National Monument. Many people think of the desert as dry, barren expanse, but as you can see around here, there's quite a bit of vegetation, and a lot of that is because of water. Water functions as the glue. It percolates up through the soil and keeps the dunes very, very moist, which prevents them from completely disintegrating and blowing away. Water is a key part of creating the dune field themselves. It helps sustain and stabilize the dune system, but without water, we wouldn't even have these dunes here. High up in the surrounding mountains around here, there's gypsum deposits. When it rains or snows up in the mountains, that gypsum laden water comes into the basin and it evaporates in the hot desert sun. Through that process, selenite crystals are formed. Selenite crystals break down from wind and water and they eventually go into smaller and smaller and smaller particles. So water is a key part of that because if water didn't come from the mountains, bringing the gypsum from the mountains, the gypsum supply would not be replenished, which allows for the formation of the dunes. The importance of science at White Sands National Monument is really understanding the key role of water in this ecosystem, from sustaining the plants and animals to understanding dune dynamics. Through research studies, we are getting a better understanding of the hydrology of the dune field, how water moves through the ecosystem and sustains the plants and animals that are here. In addition, how it holds the dunes together and how that influences dune morphology and dune movement. Well, plants are extremely important here at White Sands National Monument. First off, they stabilize the dune field. So we can see here on the transition zone, we have the dune field meeting up with the Chihuahuan Desert Scrub community. The plants really help keep the dunes in place, but they also support the variety of wildlife we have out here. It provides a nesting habitat, provides a food source, and provides shelter, which is all key for the rodents, the small animals like the kit fox and the badger, as well as the numerous birds that live out here. So through the science that we are doing here at White Sands National Monument, it helps us achieve our mission, which is to preserve and protect the world's largest gypsum dune field. Through research and science and education, we are able to better preserve and protect this resource for our enjoyment today, as well as for future generations.